Yo fam, what's up? Welcome to the Cold Mandel Show, where we don't just call, we create chairs, we vibe. Today we have a very guest, special guest judge, Dr. Kamura. Dr. Kamura, today you want to create 10 prompts for HR apps life using Gemini apps API key. What do you think about that? Do yeah. you think it's possible for this dev to, de- to, um, to do that? Do you think they can work against the time? Yeah, sure. I, I, I want you to try and uh, I believe that you can be able to do it. Uh, what I want you to create and, and I actually want to see the final product that we can be able to use in the workplace. I want you to create an agent that can support my organization on onboarding process. How can we onboard a new employee using a, an agent that you can create? The other one I would like to see is a, is a full uh, HR uh, CV screening uh, agent for recruitment. That's very useful. As you know, nowadays everybody is creating CVs uh, using AI. So how can I use those CVs now to get the right person in the workplace? So I need uh, some agent to help me to screen the CV and uh, actually recruit for a position. The other one that I'm really interested in is performance management system. How can I uh, judge that my employees are are working? How can I get feasibility for everybody working in the organization using an AI agent? That will be very interesting for me. The other one is learning uh, management system, where employees can just log in, learn on their own pace, choose the courses they want to do, develop themselves the way they want to develop themselves, and grow within the organization. So that's another agent that I, I, I'm looking to, to see. No safety, no scripts. Let's see what comes out. Yo, fam, what's up? Welcome once again to the Code Mantle Show, episode 3. To live to HR consulting firm, two days, one hour, no safety, the sick in navigation. Yeah, so hello guys, I'm Nixon Ocheng, I'm a software engineer, and I'm excited uh, to be part of episode three, God Mantled. I'm Austin Alasiri, let's see what we'll build. I will be using Google Gemini API key. Uh, we have basically 10 prompts max. We'll be using WinSub to vibe code. Uh, Scott recently uh, asked, requested to be shown how to vibe code. Yeah, so basically that's what we're going to be doing right today. One hour max. I'm going to be building a smart planning management system. I'm going to use Streamlight and uh, SQLite for database. I'm making a CV screening agent and a AI onboarding agent. One hour max. Uh, this is what I did. I just went to chat GPT and they show I told it I want to create a smart learning management system uh, where you pick a topic and it generates course using Google Gemini API and Streamlit SQLite database yeah, and then it did that and then I told it, I asked it if uh, will uh, Gemini be able to generate the course and it said yes and then I told it to give me a answer prompt yeah and that's where I got it. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. Uh, this is my first prompt. So this is my first prompt. I'm asking the AI to make for me a, a CV screening agent where someone can upload their, their CV from, the, from their machine and then the AI checks it using Gemini if it's compatible with, if it has been made by an AI and on a scale of zero to 100, how good is it? Let's go. So Nick, talk us through what so far are you debugging or? Oh, no, I want uh, to, to run it right now. I fixed the earlier error. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's generate it. So you're supposed to enter the cost topic you want, and then you choose the cost level. Are you a beginner, intermediate, or advanced? I'm an intermediate. You're in intermediate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's do that. And then yes, and then generate. Let's generate the cost. See what we have. We'll get 
Yeah. So actually did actually so it will take uh, no, some time because it's generating a whole course. A whole intermediate course. Yeah, let's see. It. She for getting an error. Okay, let's let me try. Mm -hmm. I think I tried for beginner. beginner. That's a beginner. Yeah, let's see. So you have an error of intermediate, okay. Let's see for beginner. Yeah. <coughs> introduction, introduction to, to vibe coding. <laughs> wow. Module one. This, this module introduces the fundamental concepts of vibe coding. Lesson one. What is vibe coding? An introduction to vibe coding as the art and science of con -sish con eh. That's quite an English man. Why vibe code? The benefits unveiled. <laughs> So this is what it brings you. Yeah, and then uh, you have a quiz. It also have a quiz. Uh, impressive. With only 16 minutes left, that only meaning and like all these things. Come, camera money. 16 minutes. I think, I think for me, you can just wrap it out. I think I'm, I think I'm done. The, I fixed the issue for. We saved courses. Yeah, you can see the one. Vibe coding, intermediate, advanced, beginner, beginner. Yeah. In introduction to HR. Yeah. Human resource. HR. Beginner what? It was? Yes, beginner. Beginner. Yeah. yeah generate. Let's see. Generating, generating the course, yeah, the course. Generating course with Google Gemini. <laughs> course generated success. Mm -hmm. Introduction to HR, module one. Understanding the foundations of HR, <laughs> responsibilities of HR. Yeah. Of. And then you have a quiz module. Question one, which of the following is not typically a core function of human resource? Recruitment and selection, financial, yeah. That's for coding, bro. All right, so we're having some bit of syntax errors in the creation of the files, but not to worry, I'm fixing them right now, easily and fast with the AI. My name is Catherine Manjiro. Uh, I work in this place. So hello guys, uh, so I'm Nixon Ocheng, I'm a software engineer. And basically the solution I was uh, coding today was smart learning management system. That's the solution I was building today. So basically it's a system where you can you put any course topic and then you choose between a beginner, intermediate, or yeah, the last one is advanced. And then it will generate the full course about it. Yeah, so basically, which course would you like to learn? Mm, begin. Okay, the topic of any course. Anything? Like, like yeah, maybe catering, maybe which other engineering. course? Engineering. Yeah. Engineering? Yeah. Ah, we can do introduction to engineering. Introduction. And then you choose beginner, beginner, intermediate, advanced. You choose beginner. Mm. Yeah, and then you generate the course. Yeah. So it's fetching data from the LLM. I'm using Google API. Key. Do you know Google API? Key? Okay, I can explain. Do you know ChatGPT? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. So oh. Google have their own version. Mm. Yeah, of uh. uh AI tool. Ah, so it, it has generated the course. You can see introduction to engineering. You can see module one. What is engineering? You can see this module here. Yeah. Everything lesson one. 
defining engineering, explore the core definition of engineering. It also has the quiz and it has the answer and the explanation. Yeah, everything basically. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. And then it's saved. When you come here to saved courses, review saved courses. Yeah. You can see the saved courses. I generated HR, HR web coding. Yeah. And you can see that one, engineering, your course. Okay. Yeah, basically that was it. I built it on one hour. Hello, my name is Austin Alasiri. So today I've been creating a CV screening agent vibe coding purely with AI, purely with AI no coding included. So I'm here to showcase my work. And uh, this, so this system is a system that allows the recruiters to check CVs. So once CVs are submitted, what the system does is, is that it's supposed to check the to check if someone rating it on a scale of zero to hundred mm. how how well the, that CV scores and then it checks if the CV is made using AI purely made using AI because so many people right now are making their CVs using AI they are using let's say they are using ChatGPT to make their CVs mm. and they are submitting so this system is supposed to check if the person has made using ChatGPT or not and uh, how compatible for instance it will check if it's 100% chat GPT made or 90% just like that so the, how it works is you come here and then you are supposed to submit your CV so you will follow so it has checked and it has given a score like this one of 85 out of 100 mm -hmm. there is no chat GPT so that's why it has not had it there if the, this person has made using AI or not because they are not using AI mm -hmm. otherwise it will have shown us and you can see it shows up the key strengths and then it shows up the areas of concern for instance mm -hmm. here it says this person is a relatively recent graduate with limited professional experience in a formal work environment and it also gives us like they are in the process of cyber security training so they are, their projects are not security so that's the project. All right. So, how would you write this system? Is it something that you think would work for you, or something that is not compatible? He is a beer. So you prefer the AI one? Yes. Well, the CV, CV screening, Anna, the CV screening agent. The first one uses AI to generate a course. Any course you want. This one. For and CV. This one, yeah, AI for CV. Okay. Mm. So the CV one wins today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, well, so as you have seen, uh, that was the verdict. Yeah, I think uh, she chose the AI one resume because I thought she's exposed to right now. So I'm thankful I have won today. It has been a, a really nice challenge. I think she chose the the CV one because she is a recruiter so that's what resonates most with her all in all we are born conquerors and we keep on winning see you next time on Code Matter subscribe like share, share. <clears throat> like yeah, and, yeah comment where, where, where we would like us to go next <laughs>